Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays at Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today we're going to celebrate Flag Day by making beautiful little flag candies. We've heated the sugar a little hotter today to 315 degrees, and we're going to be pouring it on our candy cooling table. In the pot is sugar, flavor, and that's about it. The flavor today is going to be blueberry strawberry shortcake, because it, the 4th of July is coming up, this is flag candy, and this makes me think of the 4th of July, all those blueberry strawberry shortcakes that I've eaten over the years. Perhaps it's just me. Before the sugar cools down, I need to add some food coloring. And the colors, of course, are going to be red, white, and blue. And we're going to stir them in and watch them bubble. This is bubbling because that liquid under there is not water. It's pure sugar that's molten. And what we're going to do is we're going to boil all the water out and let it evaporate. Because who wants sticky candy? We need to get that water out. The candy has partially cooled itself and it's no longer quite as liquid and this lets me cut it apart into pieces, sort of the colors of the palette I'll have, but I gotta even the temperature and I do this by holding them up and letting them drip so the hot bits roll out onto the cool table and the cool bits stay on top and everything will eventually become the same temperature. Once again, Lofty Pursuits is up for our Best of Tallahassee Award. This time for Best Ice Cream and Best Food Truck, and we know a lot of you out there have visited our shop or shopped with us online. We're hoping if you had a minute, you could go down to the descriptions of this video, click on the link, and vote for us. Awards like this really help a small business like ours. If you have the time, it would be great, and voting ends on the 15th of June, 2019, so if you're watching this video after it, thanks for the thoughts, but the vote's closed. This is a seasonal candy, so we don't make it very long. We usually start making it right before Flag Day, and in 2019, that's June 14th. And we continue making it until just after July 4th, because July 4th. So if you're interested in trying this candy for yourself, please come by Lofty Pursuits. We're located in Tallahassee, Florida, right off I-10. And if you can't come, you can get it online on our website at www.pd.net. And you can get it also uh, just by clicking the little I up in the upper corner of the video. It'll take you right to the product. I said our colors were going to be red, white, and blue, and currently they're red, white, and amber. So we got to make that amber white, and we do that by putting it on the hook. And I'm going to be pulling it many times and folding it over. And every time I fold it over, I trap air bubbles, and the air bubbles reflect light. This is the same principle that affects a wave in the ocean. When a wave breaks, you sometimes see white bubbles on the top or white foam, but the ocean isn't foam. It's the bubbles reflecting light back at you, or the head of a glass of root beer that's white. And it's white because the light is reflecting off these bubbles and inside these bubbles. Well, we're just trapping the bubbles in the candy and making the bubbles a solid as the sugar cools. And as I pull it, the candy becomes whiter, and it gives us a nice bright white without the use of any food coloring. The first thing to build is the blue field in the upper corner of the flag, and we're going to do that by wrapping white candy with blue candy, and we're going to pull it out and make 13 stars. 50 stars won't fit. We used to do 14 because it was convenient, but last year a customer suggested we do 13, and it seems very appropriate. When the United States was formed in 1776, it didn't have a flag. It actually took until 1777, June 14th, Flag Day, for the United States to adopt the Stars and Stripes with 13 stars and 13 stripes. But before that, we still needed a flag. You see, flags are very useful, especially for navies and for boating to know where the ships came from and where they're going. They use them to communicate. But we had a flag. It's one that's not well remembered now. It was called the Liberty Tree Flag, and it was used as early as 1775 during the Revolution to identify ships in New England. Now we're going to start building the stripes for the top half of the candy. This candy is going to be constructed in two halves. One half will have the stars and the stripes, and the other half will just have stripes. June 14th is also the birthday of the U.S. Army. You see, in 1775, that's when the first Continental Congress of the United States elected to have an American Constitutional Army. 
Two years later in 1777 on the same day, they selected the first American flag and that's when June 14th became Flag Day. But it wasn't a holiday yet. Actually, it was never a holiday. In 1916, President Woodrow Wilson wrote a proclamation declaring June 14th to be Flag Day. But that was a proclamation. It was just good for that year. For it to happen every year, Congress has to do something. And they usually do for holidays. But not for this one. They did write a bit of legislation declaring June 14th Flag Day at the discretion of the President of the United States. What this means is every year a proclamation has to be written. And we don't know if Flag Day is going to come until the proclamation is released. And it's usually released a week before Flag Day. In this case, June 7th is when our president declared it Flag Day and Flag Day is June 14th. It's got to be really hard to plan with such short notice. Now we have to resize that giant log of candy into bite-sized pieces, and we do this by scaling it down with a technique on a patch roller that keeps the design the same on the inside but makes it a much smaller diameter, and eventually we'll cut it into bite-sized pieces. Here at Lofty Pursuits, we refer to our candies as public displays of confections, and we do this because we make our confections in front of the public. We're open 15 hours a day here, and we only make candies a few hours a day, and we don't make them every day. So if you ever make it by, you may be lucky and you may get to see us make candy, but we don't have a regular schedule. If you're interested, we did another video on the history of the American flag and this candy once again. You can find it here on the Lofty Pursuits channel. It's our video number 78. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe and click that little alerts button. You'll be able to find out when we come up with new videos. Sometimes it seems like this log takes forever to pull out into rods, and this is one of them. At the very end, we're left with a lump of candy that's sort of distorted, and we save that and we put it out on the shelf. We call them unicorn droppings, and we sell them in the store. All that's left is for the candy to be cut into bite-sized pieces, and for this we use a special tool. I call it our Acme Coyote Deterrent System. and we think the final product came out great. We hope you'd like to try it sometime. You can always get this candy while well, it's still available at www.pd.net and check out our other candies. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube and click that little alerts button so that you know when the new videos are coming out and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you can find out what we're doing at any given time. If you're ever in Tallahassee, you can visit Lofty Pursuits for yourself. We're located right off the Thomasville Road exit of I-10 and while we're not making candy all the time, you might catch us doing it. But we are open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. most days. We serve brunch until noon, and we serve ice cream until close. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you in the next video.